Ho ho ho, season's greetings and welcome to TV TV Sport for today's coverage of Christchurch against Falmouth Town in the FA Vars third round. And given the travelling fans, it seems only fit to start with this. <laughs> must be brilliant to have that sort of support behind you at all the matches you go to. Anyway, on with today, and this is how Christchurch are lined up. And let's view the Falmouth team with the Falmouth fans singing. With Lewis Gunston Gray looking to the heavens in warm-up, here's your officials. And whereas I capture the moving pictures, Justin Parry captures the seals. With non-league football looking like it's going to be on the back burner for a couple of weeks at least, everyone was taking advantage of the good weather and the last local match for probably a while. So, for what I hope won't be the last time for a long time, this match is brought to you by TBTV. As you can see, the sun weren't doing me any favours whatsoever. The guys on the string could hardly see a thing, and nor could I. That didn't stop Falmouth crafting the first chance, though. I think it's probably fair to say that the host shaded the first couple of minutes, so it wasn't really much of a surprise when Ash Pope poked Christchurch in front after just nine minutes. To their credit, the visitors piled up down the other end and created a couple of decent chances. The first being this long range effort from Tim Nixon. Gunston Gray was pretty comfortable with that first effort. But this effort coming up from Luke Brabin, I think, because these numbers are an absolute nightmare to try and see, was a different matter altogether. As you'll see, the game was yo-yoing from end to end, but neither team was able to create a clear chance to put their opposition under any pressure. The nearest we got to a second goal in the first half was this Christchurch free kick. Ryan Barnes in the foul with goal got his fingertips to it. And as often happens, a corner down one end means there's going to be a break down the other. Oh. 
Gunston Gray called into action again and that proved to be the last attack of the first half. The referee blows up for half time and it's Christchurch 1, Falmouth Town 0. I thought the hosts had the best of the first half, but it proved to be Falmouth that had the best of the second. Christchurch had an early flurry here, but Pope's cross and the subsequent corner both come to nothing. From there on in, although Christchurch had the occasional foray into Falmouth territory, it was the visitors that were creating the chances and piling on the pressure. Church's best opportunity of the second half came via this run from substitute Mickey Finch. Unfortunately, his final pass was just off the mark. The way the second half had been progressing, it seemed kind of inevitable that this was going to happen. James Ward getting higher than everybody else to Noddy's team level. 1-1 with five minutes to go. I know Christchurch will want me to pass on their thanks to the 263 that were there in person and my personal thanks to the 260 odd of you that were watching on the internet stream. <laughs> kind of inevitably, it finishes 1-1 and we go to penalties. I'm now going to shut up and let you watch the drama unfold.
So here we have Cole Graham stepping up to seal the tie. Despite someone shouting boo just before he takes it, Graham scores it and Christchurch go through 6-5 on penalties to the fourth round of the FA Vars. <laughs> Church actually play United Services Portsmouth in the next round, but I don't think anybody knows when that will be. Good luck from me for when that does happen. Commiserations go to Falmouth Town, who put up a fantastic battle and brought those fantastic fans with them. And there's no better honour than to sing me out.